guys, welcome to our channel, Exploring It All. I'm Maraca Isco. Join me and my dad where we explore subscription boxes, the outdoors, gear and equipment, and other fun things and places. Before we get started, hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Ding! Well, thank you for that amazing introduction, Racket Scroll, and thank you everyone for joining us again here on Exploring It All. So today we have Grim Workshop for, oh, what is this, April 2023. I can't believe it's already April. As you can tell, like I said, Grim Workshop. I know what's in this thanks to the Any Outdoor uh, Spoiler Box page. Uh, also, you can join our Facebook group, the Battle Box Spoiler page and more. Anyway, those are both on Facebook. Uh, Kelly and uh, Sarah Poinson always heads up and what's coming in our Graham Workshop uh, subscription. Anyway, so I do know, and, I, and that way I can prepare a little bit. I actually like it, I, uh, that I know. <laughs> Even though I haven't opened this and played with this, I have preparations. So we're going to be opening this with this Civi uh, Dogfish. Was it Dogfish? I forget what the name was now. <laughs> anyway, I got this uh, from Blue Creek. Blue Creek Knives, their mystery box, uh, the $50 level, I, I got this knife, I really like it. I'm not good with the uh, non thumb stud or flipper style, but this actually will flip fast. I'm just not really good at that. Let's get started here. So here we go, and everyone gets a little crack out of the one popcorn peanut situation um, so we have two tools and our card and our business card I kind of wonder how well these will burn because I got a ton of those they, they of course make one that you can use I got it right here to thread but lately they've been sending out their standard one and um, you know I need to find a purpose for it I guess Anyway, we'll slide that right over here. And uh, let's go ahead and get started now. Here's our card. Uh, there is a coupon code for 50% off the Arrowhead Micro Tool with a purchase. Use code ARROWMICRO. And I'll take a steel shot, although this one is a little bit blurry uh, in some of it. There seems to be uh, some printing error having had one time in working in a print shop <clears throat> and they may actually be using a copier on this so it may be something on their copier but this is smeared a little bit so starting off here we have the dog fat file dog tag tool I like these I have a little container for that I don't you know I think I might have one other tool that has a small file on it uh, but I think this is awesome and I'll be able to kind of demonstrate here. Hey, close back up on me. And it comes with, all the dog tag tools come with a silencer. And this is listed as a value of $9.50. Uh, just goes to show you inflation's hitting everyone because I think the dog tag tools at one time were $7.50. So it's smooth on one side. This doesn't have the retention system that their normal ones or their new ones do. So I don't know if this is new or not. It has a finer grit and a very coarse grit. I can actually feel it here. This one is much coarser and this one is finer. And then there is a slight saw edge right here as well. That would probably work on softer woods and whatnot. But uh, so there is that. And this is uh, great to add to this, and, and I will go into that in a second. And then, of course, you have your list chain and the smaller loop chain to hook on it. And I'm going to leave this all off. So a lot of times I put that on there. Maybe I'll put it on there at the end because I want to use that. And, oh, yeah, it says it'll work on plastics and stuff as well. So that's that's that's. That's pretty cool. So we'll kind of demo this here in a second. So next up we have the Dave Canterbury signature card. Now I actually have one of these and I've had it for quite some time. And here's that. So here's a look at that. 
just to kind of give you guys an idea I'll move around a little bit so you can get the idea here and then we'll go into a little bit more on details on this so you have a couple of double hooks and I don't know the official hook names for all of these different hooks and stuff you have a couple little attachers here uh, you have a whole bunch of these hooks quite large hooks <laughs> though you, you're gonna be able to fish for some very big ones now these I want to say look like maybe a number eight to a, a number ten uh, what do they call those uh, salmon egg hook uh, these would be longer uh, a lot better for like worms and things of that sort uh, I generally trout fish I like trout fishing and then you have a couple of little spinner spinner type items here so uh, like I said I got some stuff to show you guys so I have this is my previously owned Dave Canterbury Garden. You see one of the hooks there is missing and the reason that that hook is missing is because I took it off. I used some green spider line here to show you guys and put a knot on there. I got a couple of imitation rubbery salmon eggs. I like to keep these in my kind of to-go kits and stuff in my backpacking kits. There are some areas where we go up in the Sierras where you're only allowed to use you're, sometimes you're not even allowed to use any kind of bait. You, you can only use artificial lures and flies, so like spinners or flies. And uh, they have to be barbless hooks and stuff too. They're, they're pretty strict up there, the natural species in the high Sierras and stuff. But anyway, so I used some 50-pound test spider line just to make a little leader. Uh, got the loops in there. And this is just right off of that card, you know, just to show you how that's, that kind of sets up. And one of the things I was going to mention, so if you take your little kind of spinners, and you could kind of put a, a little hook, but you'll notice they got little coarse nubs on them and stuff. And if you want to uh, thin those out, this will give you that ability to kind of thin that out and get that little nub off of there. Might be able to sharpen something really coarsely. Same with your hooks. Because you really don't want this little nub sticking out. Because if your line gets caught on there, it might, it might cut it or something. So you have these little files like that. And this is great. And I'll tell you another thing that I like to keep with some of my fishing kits and stuff that they also sell, although you could go buy your own. This is the more flexible, but you can also use sandpaper. Very thin, cut to the same size as this card, so it, it fits right in there, and you can use that as well for sanding those little nubs off. And, then, and another neat thing about these is, again, you have that retention system, and so after you've used something, if you want to store it back on here you can this also attaches you want to attach it to the lid of your tackle box or whatever else you might have a uh, one of your survival tins or something you can attach this right to the top as you use it the most things like that and then let's show you guys real quick we'll set this up if i can I didn't want to set all this stuff up right ahead of time because I kind of wanted to show you guys ways that you could use these things. So you get this on here and you take another one of your hooks. Sometimes you have to give these a little twist when you first take them off. attached with a little swivel in there and even though these aren't closed I'm really not concerned about it coming off I don't think it will so that's one way to hook those up and you'll notice I put a little color on this I don't know if it'll make any kind of difference obviously the designs don't because one of the other designs is 
actually the Dave Cantonbury logo. But you take this one and this hook, this, this double hook here fits on this thing really great. You can just put this on right like that. And that just dangles out there on the end there. So it's always hard to tell my smaller view screen if you guys can, can see everything. So that's a look at, at some of the items that you can do. And of course, like I said, it has a cord wrap on here. You can wrap your line around that. I use, you know, you got the hand caster here. That came from Grim Workshop earlier where you can do line. This is from like 10 feet of paracord I, I stripped out in another video that we did a little demo on. Um, so you can, you know, use those. Keep a little bag of these artificial eggs. Use those. I mean, if you're going to the trouble of carrying an emergency fishing card, you should probably have some line already and uh, set up for you and, and maybe some artificial baits or false flies or things also. Uh, they're very lightweight. So this card comes in at, like I said, this is smeared, uh, $21.95. And I didn't mention at the beginning, the entire package costs $20. So this card alone pays for it. And gosh, it seems like that was actually $25 at one time. But it says $21.95 right now. But it's been out for a couple, uh, a little while. So maybe that's part of the reason they've reduced the price on it. I think you can get this on Dave Cantonbury's Self Reliance Outfitter store as well. Anyway, we have also two of the tip cards. And the tip cards are great. And one is, and I, I have tons of these, and they have little filing numbers and stuff, and I have them set up by categories. This one is gardening, and it's uh, regenerating potatoes, and how to regrow a potato, a sweet potato, baby potato. Talks about the eyes and growing. You know, I've never really tried that. It is kind of that time of the year where it's getting ready to start planting here, I don't think we're going to have any more freezes. We do occasionally get those here. Our biggest concern right now here is flooding. Um, and I may go into that on our live stream here tonight. Anyway, and here's uh, a cooking method, boiling hot rocks. And I'll take some still shots of these and try and zoom in if you guys want to see them or not. Anyway. All right, guys. Well, so that's a look at the Grim Workshop, April of 2023. You know, I don't think it's a large business. I think it's a family business. Anyway, uh, well, guys, thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe, and remember, be nice to each other.